If you have a dog, you probably remember the first time it saw itself in a mirror. When it first encountered its own image, your dog might have been somewhat surprised, trying to play with or attack what it was seeing, as if it were another dog, but not quite. What do you think this animal was seeing? Was it simply interacting with what it thought was another individual? Or was it examining its own image? Can it and other animals contemplate their own existence, just like us humans? These same questions were asked more than a century ago when Charles Darwin stopped at a local zoo to watch an orangutan looking at itself in a mirror, in a way eerily similar to how a person would look at their own reflection. But does this mean there are self-aware, non-human life forms? Well, consciousness alone doesn't seem to be such a unique thing. Orangutans, dogs, and various other animals definitely have consciousness. After all, they have an awareness of the physical boundaries of their own bodies and the environment around them. On the other hand, self-awareness takes a step further, and an individual who possesses it is capable of being aware of their own consciousness, which seems to be much rarer. And this was only possible to demonstrate through practical experiments in the 70s using mirrors, in what became known as the mirror test. A very creative name. The concept of this test is quite simple, but can be quite revealing. It consists of sedating an animal and making a mark on a part of its body that is impossible to see directly, without the aid of reflections. When the animal wakes up, it will be presented with a mirror, and only through it will it be able to observe that strange mark. And then, one of two things can happen. One possibility is that the individual of that species recognizes its own image and understands that there is a strange mark on its body. This would lead to a behavior of examining the mark through the mirror. If this happens, congratulations to that animal. It has just passed the mirror test and shows self-awareness, just like humans. After all, this would be the first thing you and I would do if we saw in the mirror that there is a mustard stain on our chin. And this is exactly what happened with orangutans and chimpanzees. Upon waking from anesthesia with a marking and being introduced for the first time to a mirror, orangutans and chimpanzees might have an initial somewhat confused reaction, but soon they adapted. After a while getting used to the concept of a mirror, they started to look at and interact not only with the mark, but also checked their teeth, backs, and genitals, almost as if they were saying, Hey, so this is what my balls look like. However, there is a second possibility. This self-examination behavior in the mirror may not occur, and thus the animal will fail the test. And in this way will be considered a living being without the ability to understand its own existence. Well, dogs seem to fail the mirror test. Even species closely related to us, like gorillas, can be considered failures. They have a developed brain, skillful hands, and the habit of grooming themselves, but within the social repertoire of their species, direct eye contact is a serious sign of aggression. Because of this, they never even look directly at their own reflection in the mirror. Dogs seem to fail, but that does not mean that they do not have some degree of awareness of their own existence. Perhaps they just don't care that much about their own reflection. After all, their world, unlike ours, is not so based on vision but on smell. Each species experiences this planet in a unique way, and therefore, to truly measure the self-awareness of each one, it would be necessary to create a different test for each species. So, in the end, what dogs really see in the mirror doesn't matter much. Because the mirror test is not about how animals see themselves reflected in the mirror, but how humans see themselves reflected in animals.